Hello and welcome to Fandom Art School, a series where I teach you how to draw all of our fandom favorites. Today we're going to learn to draw everyone's favorite at the moment. It's Pedro Pascal slash Joel Miller from The Last of Us. So of course to begin we have to have a reference photo. So this is the reference photo that I'll be using. And one of the easiest way to begin to capture a person without having to draw a full-blown portrait. My style is not a portrait and I'm not going to teach you how to draw portraiture. But one of the easiest ways to start is to notice notable shapes about a person and notable characteristics in their face. And that way it can and help people understand who you're drawing, even if it doesn't look 100% like them. We're not going for a photo. So for me, the things I notice about Pedro is he has a squared off jaw, a square, a boxier jaw. He's a very unique nose shape. Um, his eyes are a bit downturned in like a really nice way. Um, and he has that iconic mustache. So those are the things that I'm going to focus on that are gonna help us understand who we're drawing. So to begin, we just start blocking things off. We just start with our basic circle and we're just bringing in shapes. We're not worrying about details at this stage. We are just literally blocking in the shapes. What is the shape of the jaw? What is the shape of the hair? We're not even looking at the details of the hair. Where do things go? Where do they belong? Don't get too detailed. Keep your li your hand light, and fluffy. Fluffy is a weird word, but we're going with it. Just don't, don't worry about the specifics here. And then we're gonna keep going. Once we have a basic shape, then we're gonna start bringing in some more. We're gonna start crafting the eyes. We said the downturn eyes. He has this really unique eyes kind of like go down. We wanna capture that. His nose is really specific. It's a really cool shape. We wanna start bringing that in. I want you to imagine that your arm is constantly in motion. Keep your elbow moving, keep your wrist moving. Although some people say don't draw with your wrist, but I tend to draw with my wrist. It's whatever. Um, keep it very light. I want your pencil to be light, whatever tool you're using. I want it to be quick quick, simple, imprecise strokes, but you're looking for shape, you're looking for life. We are still at a very high level at this stage. We're not getting too detailed, but you could start to add. You can see add a little bit of more of more specifics to the facial features as we go. Think of it as layering, but don't think of it as the final drawing quite yet. We're just trying to understand where things are located still in their general shapes. Now I'm using an iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil, so something I like to do once I feel like I have this base drawn, you know, where things go, his general, you know, look doesn't look exactly like him, and that's okay. I like to create this like under layer where I um, color in the shape of his, of what I drew. And that helps me again, reinforce the shapes that we're trying to go for, which is his unique head shape. Um, and then fix some things there. And then we're going to go at it again. We're going to draw another one. Now this time is when we're really going for detail, whereas before we were going for shape, just high level positioning, uh, where things go, what they like generally look like. Now we're going for detail. I'm going in with a harder pencil, a darker color, um, and now I'm being a little bit more specific about what things look like and where they go. Um, and this is going to be trial and error, but now that we, because we already reinforced the shapes in that first round, it's so much easier to start this, to do this when we're in this stage. And remember, we identified key characteristics about Pedro's face that we want to capture. His downturned eyes, his unique nose, his facial, his draw structure, and his facial hair. Um, those are his the unique characteristics, especially as he, when he plays Joel. So those are the things that we want to emphasize. And everything else will, will blend in will, to what will ultimately become Joel and Pedro. Last step, once we feel like we have what we wanted, we, again, we kept our pencil light and airy and fluffy as we go for color. I keep my color very light just to help her, like, you know, indicate again who we're drawing. So he has a nice tan skin. He has gray, grayish, blackish hair um, in this reference. So we're I'm just gonna block that in very quickly. This step is optional and, and don't worry too much about color accuracy. It just kind of helps bring him to life a little bit more because ultimately we just want to draw our fandom favorite. We want to draw Pedro. And so here he is in all his glory. You can see him, he really came to life. And it's not an exact portrait, which again, we said, that's not what we're going for, but it captures the essence of him and he's recognized you know who we're drawing. So there we have it. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for joining me in Phantom Art School with this new series I made up. If you liked it and want to see more episodes like this, let me know and I'll continue to make them. But otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.